Not until the moot declares that title should adorn my shoulders will I accept it. What about Jarl Ellison? Yes, what about the Lady Ellison? Will she put aside her personal hatred for me and her misplaced love for the Emperor at his point so that the suffering of our people will end? Will she acknowledge that it is we Lords who determine Skyrim's future? Will she swear fealty to me so all may know that we are at peace and a new day has dawned? I do. Then it is settled. The Jarl will continue to rule solitude. I will garrison armies here to ward off Imperial attempts to reclaim the city. And in due time, the Moot will meet and settle the claim to High King once and for all. There is much to do, and I need every able-bodied man and woman committed to rebuilding Skyrim. A great darkness is growing, and soon we will be called to fight it on these shores or abroad. The Old Mary Dominion may have defeated the Empire, but it has not defeated Skyrim! Fuss! Not so bad. Nice touch about the High King. Thank you. I thought so too. It's a foregone conclusion, you know. Oh, I know. The Imperials are not going to leave us alone. They still have camps in the hills. They'll continue to strike out at us, whenever and wherever they can. I'm not afraid of the remnants of the Legion. In time, they'll all give up the Dalmor. What I fear is that the Dalmor will see our victory here and turn greater attention to our shores. We must be prepared to face them. Aye. And of course, we couldn't have done it without you. May the gods preserve you. May the gods preserve us all. Come, Galmar. We've still much work to do.